Hello my gorgeous Capricorns, this is Debs and this is your single soulmate reading from January until June 2023. Cabby, I do hope you're well. Thank you so much for being here. And we're going to be looking at who may be coming in for you over the next six months. So if you're ready, let's begin. Using an angel aura quartz to help me connect through with source and the deck is the Tarot of Dreams. All right, Capricorn. I'm hearing the word determination, okay? That sounds very earthy for you. All right, let's start. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the single soulmate reading for my Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is January until June 2023. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. January until June 2023. I don't know why I'm seeing someone take a really deep breath and jump off a diving board. There's a mixture of excitement and fear. So I don't know what's going on here, Cappy. Okay. Let's find out. That card wanted to be seen. I'm taking it. Yeah, wanted to be seen. Nine of Pentacles. So Capricorn, you are ready for love. You're sitting in the Nine of Pentacles. Male or female? Really lovely energy. All right. So eight cards on the board from this particular deck. And we're going to be delving into three other decks after this one. You can always skip this bit, guys. I'm also hearing the words taking charge. You're taking charge of your life and you may be going for what you want, Cappy, or somebody's taking charge and moving towards you. Hmm. Oh, let's straighten up the cards. Sorry, people. Okay. Now moving from here to the Lighted Pathway, Lightworker, Tarot and Oracle. So can we have three cards please from this particular deck for my Capricorns? That one is sticking out, okay. All right. I don't know why I'm also hearing a drum roll, a drum roll, you know? Is someone planning on moving towards you? You don't know this. Now, Cappy, take it as it resonates. It could be you. But someone here is about to do something incredibly exciting, but there is fear involved for some reason. Okay. Now, Psychic Tarot, John Holland. All the decks I use are in the description box of my readings, people. And if you want a private reading, of course, message me, okay? I don't usually say that, but I've got a lot of messages coming in recently. Yeah, two. There we go. I'm just thinking to myself, the cards are being awkward and Michael's underlining the word awkward. So there's a drum roll. There's a mixture of fear and excitement and something is a bit awkward. <laughs> OK, piecing together these channel messages for you guys. Archangel Michael cards. Here we go. So Archangel Michael, may we have a message from you, please, for my Capricorns. There we have it. So Capricorn, if you're ready, let's jump in. Let's have a look at your first card. Faith. Oh, wow. Now, this is interesting because, if I remember correctly, Virgo had this card in this placing. Was it Virgo? Was it Libra? In exactly that placing. Now, that's Taurus energy. This is also the energy that relates in the traditional tarot to the Hierophant. So this can be the concept of marriage, culture, religion. All right, that's also keeping the faith. The judgment card, okay, two major arcana. Sagittarian energy. 
So someone is hoping and praying to make the right judgment call or to have the courage and confidence to go through with a very serious suggestion. Four of coins. There could be fear that someone isn't stable enough or there's a sense of I just can't let go of this situation, of this person. Obviously, I'm connecting with a single Capricorn. So, Cappy, there could be a situation where somebody here wants to return to you who can't seem to let you go emotionally. They could be nervous that they're not stable enough for you. They don't have a lot to offer you. Okay. Could be a Sag, could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces with a hangman. There's a sense of self-sacrifice. So Capricorn, someone here is thinking about something very intently. And I believe they're thinking about moving towards you. But there's a lot of nervous energy. And this will be very significant for you, Cappy, because already we've got three major arcana. Yeah, someone is thinking about the past. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is thinking about the past. They're thinking about the concept of loyalty, stability, what they're wanting for their future. I'm getting a sense this is someone who is preparing to make a really big move, but there's a lot of fear involved in doing this. Maybe they're worried about what you're going to say. Two of coins. Someone's tossing up the idea of moving towards you and creating this beautiful relationship. I'm hearing the words, do I want to move towards the Golden City or not? Now, the Golden City could be representative of somebody who feels as if you would be offering them a lot of stability in a connection. You are the Golden City as such, symbolically. This person may feel happy you tick all their boxes. It could be this is someone weighing up the pros and cons of actually moving, relocating. If there's distance between the two of you, this is somebody who wants to travel to see you. But finances could be a slight issue with whoever this is. And again, I'm seeing this diver standing on the edge of a diving board, looking down, feeling terrified. Now, are they terrified to dive into their emotions? OK, symbolically, water is emotion. Nine of wands. Capricorn, someone here has spent a long time thinking about making this decision. They may believe it's too late. They may feel, you know what? I am denied about this. I had to think about it for a long time. I don't know if Capricorn is going to be... I'm hearing still single, okay? But this is someone drained and weary and a bit fed up. They know that they've taken forever to make this decision. They've been looking at the past. They've been trying to figure out what they want. But I think this is someone trying to, again, keep the faith that they're making the right judgment call in hanging on to you and being patient. So this is when this person's going to come forward. Yeah, we have the energy of the sun. Goodness me, guys. Another major arcana. That's the energy of Leo. Somebody simply feels happy that you would make them incredibly happy, that they could grow with you, expand with you, live a beautiful life with you. There is potentially, though, a problem. Now, it's either financial, this person doesn't feel as if they've got enough to bring to the table, or this is someone who may live a distance from you and they've been trying to weigh up the pros and cons of actually moving to be nearer you, to make this relationship really take off. Very interesting. So signs we could be dealing with for you, Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces, and of course, Leo with the sun. Let's have a look at Lighted Pathway. Oh, this is so lovely. Guys, yeah, this is somebody that you've known before. Conflict resolved, work through differences, and a positive experience is coming. So Capricorn very clearly... I feel that this is somebody who wants to reconnect with you. There may have been arguments and disagreements in the situation. 
It could be because somebody sat on the fence for the longest time. But there's a positive experience coming, Capricorn. This is somebody who really wants to make it work with you. And maybe even wanting to talk to you about you two coming together in a practical sense. Maybe even moving in together in the future. This is someone who has been trying to decide whether or not they could actually physically move. Do they have the money to move? This is somebody who is well aware that you will be faithful and loyal. They're hoping that you're going to give them a second chance, Capricorn, because they have taken forever to make this decision. So this is next coming back, Capricorn. All right. Psychic Tarot. So, goodness me, we have Disruption, which is the energy of the Tower. And then we have Material and Spiritual Prosperity. So Capricorn, someone's gone through a Tower moment and it might have related to their material world. They're left with four pentacles. This is someone who may have been involved with another person and gone through divorce and was left with nothing. Or they may have had issues in the job, for instance. The disruption card is the energy of the tower. But then we've got someone looking at moving into a place of happiness and contentment with material and spiritual prosperity and warmth and laughter and love and expansion. I feel we're dealing here, Capricorn, with somebody who not only faces a lot of disruption on a financial basis, so may be struggling financially, but also someone who is lacking self-confidence. This is somebody who is actually quite insecure. They may have been praying that the divine would allow them a second chance in this connection. And I think they are just about to dive off that diving board. They're just about to reach out to this person who could be you, Capricorn. Now, Archangel Michael. Be gentle with yourself, lovely. And the prayer reads, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Now, I'm seeing the lamb and I'm seeing the angel wings. It could be... Capricorn, that someone here has learned some serious karmic lessons. They may have been sitting in their shadow side before, but this is someone I believe who has turned over a new leaf as such. Someone who may also have experienced a tower moment. They could have faced karma. And this is someone, Capricorn, who is returning, I think, to you because you simply make them incredibly happy. Now, Capricorn, you could be wanting to return to someone, yourself. That works that way too. Take it as it resonates. But this can be successful. You guys can resolve the conflict, work through your differences, and this could be a very positive experience of you two coming forward into a partnership sitting in the energy of the sun. Now, we're closing out the reading with Messengers of the Heart. Let's just see what needs to come through, what wants to come through. Here we go. So, messengers of the heart. Can we have two or three messages, please, for my lovely Capricorns? This could be from you to your person, Cappy, or vice versa. Okay. That one. Goodness. All right. Lustful desires. There's a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. So it could well be that someone wants to move forwards towards you, Capricorn, to apologise for maybe sitting in shadow energy, lust and desire. It could be that if this is you, you've tempered that desire inside you of reacting purely out of lust and desire. And you're returning to someone that you feel you can build with. Now, what is interesting, that particular card is actually the energy of the devil, which is your card. So very relevant for one or two of you out there. 
that wants to come through. Awakening, yeah. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. So someone here is trumping the devil, fighting their shadow side and is going through or has gone through an awakening. Okay. The witch. <laughs> they see how powerful and magical you are and sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell. So someone here could have connected to a light worker, could be thinking of moving towards a light worker. Capricorn, this could be you. But there's a sense of this person understanding whoever they are, the concept of love, the concept of sitting in a place of morality, being honest, trustworthy, faithful. And I think this is someone who's going through an awakening and realising that they do want to put effort into this connection. They're moving away from the energy of lust and desire, which is really beautiful. So Capricorn, a fantastic reading. Whoever this is for, take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.